Yes, yes, guys. What's up? That's the new EGR cooler. We're fitting into our T6 Ford Ranger. Those are known for breaking at some point. So as a form of preventative maintenance, just make sure you change yours on time. Otherwise, your engine will go. It's a kaboom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, enough about the jokes, guys. Um, so e the HR cola is at the back of the of your engine. This is um three point two it's a five cylinder engine. Um and then yeah. But there's fairly no space at the back, but yeah, it's better to come from the top. If you go from the bottom the gearbox is in the way, so yeah, just make sure you remove the heat shield first. It's got um, uh, it's got four 10 millimeter bolts and two 8 millimeter bolts. So make sure you have those sizes sockets and the uh, ratchet. It's gonna be very helpful. Uh, when you remove the heat shield, uh, you will find three times 10 millimeter bolts on the exhaust side. I'm just waiting for the video to get to that part. So I'm gonna put a song over this. If you're watching. Oh yeah, that's me removing the heat shield there. Not heat shield. Gun passer, So yeah, this is your heat shield. Let's put it nicely on the floor. So guys, if you noticing these symptoms, probably that's your EGR cooler. It is gonna look like it's your head gasket, but it's on that on these models, the Mazda PT50. I think it has the same engine and everything, and also the 3.2. <clears throat> so if you notice your coolant. Uh, going missing but there's no visible leaks anywhere and then uh, sometimes like difficulty cranking and then uh, what else if you see white smoke if you cast that smoking white uh, maybe for like a, on a cold start if you've packed it overnight and then in the morning you start it, you see all that white smoke. That's because all the coolant, because you remember your cooling system is gonna pressurize. <clears throat> so when it's pressurized and you've packed it overnight, uh, since your EGR cooler is leaking, there's uh, pressure difference. So the cooling system is high pressured, but then where it's leaking into the exhaust, there's low pressure, so all that coolant is just gonna go into the exhaust, and then that's where you're gonna see that white smoke in the morning because um, all that coolant is in the exhaust, so it's gonna come out the exhaust, and then you'll see that white smoke in the morning, and then, yeah. That should give you a pretty good indication that uh, your EGR cooler is no more. But yeah, just every 80,000 kilometers, make sure that you you do change it, at least if you want to keep it for a long time and uh, just do your normal maintenance. Um, so uh, this job is it's very tedious. Uh, that's why maybe shops will charge you like a substantial amount but it's something you can do it yourself so three bolts on the exhaust side just the heat shield and then those three 10 millimeter bolts and then you go to the EGR valve side uh, let's just wait for the video to I'm just uh, what I was doing uh, I was taking off the hose from the heater core because remember the coolant flows from the reservoir into the heater core, out the heater core into the EGR cooler. 
So you'll see most people saying you need to remove all of the intake side. But uh, when I was doing this, I realized that you don't really have to. You just need to and just take off two 10 milliliter balls on the... I forgot what this is called. It's the EGR something. And then I was trying to pry out uh, that connector there to the EGR, but it wasn't necessary. So at this point, I'm going to cut it out. So yeah, here I was trying to remove the the holes at the bottom of the EGR valve. So the EGR cooler is connected by two 10 millimeter balls on the EGR valve side. It's only two, one at the top, one at the bottom. So if uh, Okay, uh, so yeah, at this point I realized, what do you call it, epitome, and there are many of that aha moment, what is it called, <laughs> I had an epitome or something, I had an aha moment at this, at this point, so I realized that um, this whole unit, the EGR valve and the cooler can move freely. So you can, if you, when you've taken those bolts from the exhaust side, it can move freely. So you can just pull it until you are able to reach those bolts on this EGR side. Yeah, if you're doing this alone, it's very tedious. Um, just needs patience. So I, in total, I did this job. Uh, I think it took me two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm sure you heard that, guys, in the background. People are not here. But yeah, with the help of my support. Uh, Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to get more content. Um, I'm gonna be teaching out more educational videos, guys. I've got a project coming up uh, around March. So make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>